Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today it's already time to do my April favourites. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my April flew past and I thought that, oh my god, I, I don't actually have that many favourites this month. But, when I was collecting all the stuff that I was going to show in this video, I was like, actually, I do have quite a lot of favourites, so I don't know how that happened. But, nevertheless, I hope you guys all had a fab April, um, and I'm going to get straight on um, with my April favourites. First thing is first is what's on my nails. Now, I don't know if you um, have noticed, but in my last videos, um, quite a few videos actually, I've had naked nails. Now, I hate naked nails, um, but I was going through a bit of like a phase, I think I have been for quite a lot of this year, um, where I just don't like A have the time but I just don't feel like wearing anything on my nails but then um, a few weeks ago I was like right I'm gonna give myself a mini manicure at home and um, I'm gonna pick a colour to wear that I know I'm gonna kind of keep on for quite a while and that has actually been Fifth Avenue by Essie which has become um, one of my favourites of this month because I've literally had it on for I think possibly two weeks now um, and I just love it I think it's a really really gorgeous red colour I have a full review of this with swatches and stuff on my blog, so I will leave a link in the below bar for you guys so you can check that out. Um, but basically, it's like, has just become one of my favourite reds. Um, and the reason why I like this red is because it's like an orangey red, um, so you can literally get away with wearing it pretty much any time of the year. So I've been really, really loving this. I'm sure I'm going to have this on my nails for quite a while <laughs> until I get bored of it. Um, but yeah, I was loving, loving Fifth Avenue from Essie. Whilst um, I was in Manchester a few months ago now, um, I actually went to the Lowry, which is a kind of like an outlet mall, and I picked up a couple of bits from the body shop that was there, because it was like 40% off, and they had these great deals, and I knew I was running out of my face mask. So I picked up the Mineral Warming Mask. The reason why I picked this up, because obviously it like warms up, and I thought that'd be a really cool thing to try out. So um, I got it, and I've used it about four or five times now, and I really like it. I'm if you guys watch my videos, you will know that I love face masks, um, and this has definitely become a favourite of mine. It's really weird, when you put it on, you have to have a damp face, and um, then you put like a thin layer of it on, um, all over your face, and it like, literally, like, it warms up on your skin. It doesn't last very long, um, but I think it's like the reaction that happens with the water that makes it heat up. But it's a really weird sensation, and I really do like it. Overall, I'm really, really impressed with this mask, and for kind of like a high street brand, um, it's actually quite a bargain. So, really, really enjoyed using this. My next favourite is the Carmex Moisture Plus. Now, I used to bang on about these years ago when they first launched, and I am a huge fan of this, the pink one, uh, which is the one wh which was my favourite last month. But basically, it's a pink tinted moisturiser. This is actually a new one because I have so many of these and so many backups that um, this was the one that I could find in my vanity. Um, but I absolutely loved it. I went through a phase of not wearing this for like literally months. And when I picked it up um, one morning and popped it on my lips, I was just like, oh, fell in love with it all over again. I do love that it's pink. They do have a whole a host of different colours, but the pink one is my absolute favourite. The next thing that I was loving last month is a bit of a weird one, because when I first got this, it was last year in December, um, it was on offer on ASOS, and when I tried it, I was just like, oh, I, I just didn't like it. And I just wasn't impressed with it. But, for some weird reason, in my head, I've got this whole new kind of thing going on where I'm trying to use up my makeup. But I, over the past month, actually it really enjoyed using this lip balm and it's the Glam Glow uh, Lip Balm by Rodial, I don't know how to say it, but basically it's, um, it's a rose scented lip balm and it says on the back that it's a plumping lip balm with stem cells. Like, I have noticed my lips do look the slightest bit plumper after using this, but nothing major. But it's just so lovely on the lips. Like, 
I got so used to using my Dr. Lip lip balm, um, which is really, really thick. This is actually really light, and for someone who um, doesn't really want to wear anything on their lips kind of during the day, or doesn't feel like wearing any lipstick that day, then I literally have been putting this on, and I have kind of like grown to love it, if that makes sense, because at first I was really like, oh, I wasted my money on this, and I'm like so not happy with it. I have just kind of grown to love it and it is actually really good. I'm actually quite surprised that I ended up really liking it because at first it was just something that I felt like I wasted my money on. But yeah, really enjoyed using this. Next up is a mascara by Clinique um, that I was really enjoying last month and it's actually um, called the Lash Power Feathering Mascara. Now I've got a full review of this up on my blog so I will leave it in the description box below so you guys can check that out. But it's actually a brilliant everyday mascara. One of the main reasons why I love this mascara is because it comes off like an absolute dream. And it's actually really, really soft. I've got it on my eyelashes now and literally they feel like I've not got anything on them, um, which is another reason why I really love it. I cannot sing this mascara's praises enough. But next up is another new launch that happened recently and it's actually the NARS Matte Multiples. I've got them in two colours. I got one contour shade which is this shade here. I believe it's the darkest brown that you can get um, and it's the shade Vian Tian. Now I've probably said that wrong because you know what I'm like um, but I've got that shade and then I've also got this really nice um, a baby doll pink shade which is in the, oh god, which is in the shade Anguilla um, and I probably said that wrong as well. All the information will be in the description bar because I know I probably said things wrong. But yeah, I absolutely have been loving using these. The pink one I've actually got on my cheeks right now, it's like such a gorgeous, everyday, natural looking blush. Um, you can actually use these on your lips as well. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm really, really looking forward to trying this shade because it's such a lovely, like, baby pink. When it comes to the darker shade, which is this dark brown here, um, I have been using it as a contour and I quite like it because it's really easy to use because you literally, I mean what I do is I literally make lines of wherever I want to kind of contour um, and then just blend that out with my beauty blender and I do like setting it with uh, a powder which is obviously my favourite crushed walnut by Collection 2000 um, but yeah it's just really really lovely and easy and smooth and it blends so effortlessly into your skin as well really really have been enjoying this the next thing I'm going to show you guys is um, some shoes that have become pretty much my favourite sandals for um, spring summer I got these shoes here from Zara a couple of, um, well, I think, may it could have been actually over a month ago, um, but I literally rinsed them in uh, April. You can probably tell on my Instagram um, page that I did post a lot of pictures of these, but they are honestly amazing. They were under £30, I believe, um, so they're not that expensive, but they look just so super chic, and they literally go with every single outfit, um, but yeah, absolutely love these. Those are my April favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave me a comment of what your favourites have been in April because I'd love to know what you guys were loving. As always, all the makeup that I'm wearing and all the jewellery and clothes I'm wearing will be in the description box as well, so be sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, I will leave all my social links um, to like my Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and everything in the description box below. So yeah, I guess that's it and I won't blabber on too much. Um, I'll let you guys go if you've made it this far till the end. Um, but I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!